going to talk quick about uh, plowing the potatoes, uh, plowing them as in with a potato plow. We're going to be doing the harvesting now. It's getting that time of year, so we're getting some of these up. Um, and much easier to do it this way. So we're going to be using the 316, and we're going to be uh, using the machine to do all the hard work for us, and I'm going to show you how we got it set up. So the basic overview of uh, how we got the 316 set up to do that, of course, as normal, we have your ag tires on here, and you need you need some good traction on these so if you're new to the 316 318 type John Deere tractors or type uh, any, any brand in this uh, class here you, you gotta get rid of the turf tires chains some people like prefer chains because they can take them on and off I don't have the experience with them working as well plus chains for garden tractors tend to be lighter duty and I've broken them before so I don't like to use chains um, I have in the past when it's a little bit muddier but anyway so you gotta have the tires these are fluid filled I've got them filled with sugar water uh, sugar being as though it's not calcium chloride something horrible if I poke a nut if but when I poke a hole in the tire so they're filled another 60 some pounds per tire I don't have wheel weights because I haven't shelled out the money for them yet no weight on the front end my front weight rack is empty and that's because if I put weight on the front it pulls the front down which reduces some of the traction here I want the machine to be lifting a little bit just enough weight on the front to steer so that's what we're going for we have our sandbags those are providing additional traction those are 70 pounds each uh, providing additional weight for the traction and so what this is again is we're pushing this machine to its limit weight and traction wise plenty of power more than enough power to do it it's a weight and traction type issue so we got to increase the weight and the traction so back here at the three point uh, we were all the work is going to happen of course we got our potato plow this is a potato plow slash middle buster so this is designed to scoop the dirt and lift it up that's what we're doing we're not trying to turn anything over we're simply lifting the soil and that's what we're trying to do here you can take off the front on this one and put on just a little kind of flat blade thing it's a middle buster just for breaking up soil that's real deep uh, it's made by country line this is a category one implement with cat zero spacing so i can use my cat zero three point on here and this is all the way up and as you can see there ain't a whole lot of clearance so and pushing the machine to its uh, limit as far as capacity uh, for lit raising and lowering it's just 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 high enough this is not your standard top link that you would have for the cat zero uh, they make these top links for cat zero in two different sizes that I'm aware of uh, the standard is seven and a half I believe this is nine and three quarter and you need that extra reach because you can see this doesn't even come close to lining up with this here so this is way pushed back so this needs to be longer you can custom make something but I just ordered the longer one and we got this set up got our chains tight here to make sure this doesn't wander and that's about the gist of it there I wanted to show you a bit what the soil you want it to be when you're going to be doing this um, this is about perfect soil conditions to be for us anyway that's going to vary based on your location and your soil characteristics and all but this is about perfect for this you don't want it hard uh, then it's just too difficult to get through your potatoes get damaged um, it will form a ball but yet fall apart real easy so you can grab some it'll kind of squish but at the same time turns to nothing potatoes come out pretty clean that'll dry out a little bit and that'll just uh, fall right off from handling you, even handling gently that little bit will be fine but uh, you don't want to wash your potatoes with water a little bit of dirt on them is not going to hurt them in storage and so those are the conditions you're looking for. Like I said, generally it's it's going to vary. If you've got a much sandier soil, this is a fairly high clay content soil. But the for, for us anyway, they say that's what you're looking for. So that's the setup for the 316 for pulling up the potatoes. Uh, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. It's actually one of the first implements we bought. And one of the only actual bought in the implements I have. I make most of mine, but this one happens to work real well. Uh, I'll be at the limit and I kind of scar up the lawn a bit as I drive across it to get to the garden. Anyway, my wife don't like that. <laughs> so make sure you check that out with the missus before you go do that or uh, transport it differently. Uh, take the top link off, push it on. Anyway, so I've already plowed the potatoes or lifted the potatoes. Uh, it was getting too dark last night to keep filming anyway. Uh, so I'm going to get that on here next and uh, do a little narration or something kind of let you know what's going on. So notice when this is set up properly it's going to want to pull itself down uh, no additional weight is needed. Uh, the tip of it is tipped just angled down so it digs itself in. 
and this does a real nice job of lifting, pushing the potatoes aside. We had a killing frost. Normally your potato plants would be a little bit more dried out when you harvest, but uh, you cut the tops off, but we're in a hurry, and we had a killing frost. So it's just lifting them up so you can go along and pick them up with your hands. No tools needed. Uh, you can see how it just pushes them off to the side after lifting. does a real good job. Um, this garden was never, I, I had nothing to do with it this year. My 10-year-old, he handled it all. Every now and again, you'll see right there how a potato plant doesn't want to go off to the side. So all you're going to do is just manually get back there and throw it out of the way and then continue on. I'm going real slow on purpose so I can identify problems ahead of time, less strain on the tractor. Uh, it's just better to go slow and when you compare it to doing it by hand, it's just amazingly fast. And it's just going along real well. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click for updates so you don't miss any of our future videos. Hit the little like button on this one, leave a comment if you like, tell us what you're thinking. We love to read comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching Minnesota Homesteading.